आज हमारा सौभाग्य हमारे बीच परम पूज्य श्री भक्ति विद्यालय महाराज है और वो भी इस शुभ कार्तिक के मास में दामोदर लीला के मास में तो हमारा सौभाग्य है हम में से काफी भक्त महाराज को पहले ही जान के होंगे महाराज दामोदर देश में हर वर्ष आते हैं पहले कोरोना के समय लगभग दो तीन वर्ष महाराज नहीं है बट महाराज हर वर्ष यहाँ आते हैं और महाराज इस आंदोलन से जुड़े लंदन में उन्नीस सौ इकहत्तर में और महाराज शिला प्रभुपाद जी के शिष्य हैं और जो मुख्य देश महाराज जहाँ प्रचार करते हैं भारत अभी महाराज तीन वर्ष से भारत में थे फिलीपींस चाइना ताइवान सिंगापुर हांगकॉन्ग मलेशिया थाईलैंड और 1994 में महाराज ने श्री कमाल कृष्ण स्वामी महाराज जी से संन्यास आश्रम में ग्रहण किया था तो फार ईस्ट में महाराज अधिकतर प्रचार करते हैं चाइना में भी अभी आप देखेंगे काफी बार चाइना से भी मायापुर में आते हैं मायापुर में रहते हैं वहाँ सेवा करते हैं तो इस प्रकार से हमारा भाग्य है और महाराज मायापुर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन में भी सिखाते हैं कोर्सेज जैसे भक्ति शास्त्री भक्ति वैभव इत्यादि और हर वर्ष मायापुर परिक्रमा में भी वो इंटरनेशनल जो ग्रुप है वो उनके नियंत्रण में चलता है तो इस प्रकार हमारा भाग्य है आज हम सबको मौका मिला है महाराज से सुनने का तो सभी से रिक्वेस्ट है आपका सेल फोन चेक कर लीजिए मोबाइल सब लोग प्लीज साइलेंट पे डाल दीजिए और अभी हम क्लास करेंगे और क्लास के अंत में किसी को कोई प्रश्न है वो पूछ सकते हैं सभी कहानी के लिए धन्यवाद सबको इंग्लिश ठीक है या हिंदी अनुवाद की आवश्यकता है इंग्लिश ठीक है सबको थैंक यू ओम ज्ञान तुम्हारा श्रीगुरोपदकमल श्रीगुरुन वैष्णव श्रीराधाकृष्णपदाखा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता तारा कांता नमस्ते राम कांचनौरामे वृंदावनेश्वरी कृष्ण हरे हरे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत भक्तवृंद so as you continue from the decorations here as the 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 altar is decorated with many forms of damodar lord krishna in his form of damodar being bound with ropes by mother yashoda to jaise aap yahan par dekh sakte hain mandir sajaya gaya hai usme bahut roop hai bhagwan damodar ke 
जिस जो जहां पर माँ यशोदा कृष्ण को रस्सी से बांध रही है so this month generally referred to as kartika which is the name of shrimati radharani and we also sometimes refer to this month as the month of damodar because this is the time when this particular fast time of lord krishna took place so is mahine ka naam hai kartik mas jo shrimati radharani ka bhi ek naam hai और इस महीने का एक और नाम है दामोदर मास जिस महीने भगवान की दामोदर लीला हो सो लॉर्ड कृष्ण लाइफ चाइल्डहुड लीला टेक्स प्लेस इन ब्रजा इन द लैंड ऑफ वृंदावन और मथुरा एंड हिज लाइफ इज चाइल्डहुड लीला इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री स्टेजेस तो भगवान की ये बाल्य लीलाएं हुई वृंदावन मथुरा में और जो इनकी बाल्य लीलाएं हैं इनको तीन भागों में विभाजन किया गया है नॉट ओनली लॉर्ड कृष्ण बट एक्चुअली ऑल चिल्ड्रन वी थिंक ऑफ द लाइफ इन थ्री स्टेजेस जनरली द फर्स्ट फाइव इयर्स इज व्हाट वी कॉल द कुमार स्टेज तो केवल कृष्ण भगवान ही नहीं हर बच्चे की जो बचपन होता है उसको तीन भागों में विभाजन किया जाता है तो पहला होता है पांच साल की उम्र तक जिसे कुमार अवस्था कहते हैं फॉर फॉर द द फर्स्ट फाइव इयर्स चाइल्ड्स होम विद मदर मदर्स टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द चाइल्ड फीडिंग ब्रेस्ट मिल्क एंड सो ऑन चाइल्ड इज वेरी मच डिपेंडेंट ऑन द मदर एंड जस्ट एंगेज इन प्लेइंग अराउंड द होम तो पहले पांच वर्ष बच्चा घर में ही रहता है माँ बच्चे को ध्यान रखती है अपने स्तन से दूध पिलाती है तो ये पहले के जो पांच वर्ष है इसमें बच्चा घर में है और माँ उसकी हर प्रकार से देखभाल कर रही है घर में एंड देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेज इज कॉल्ड फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ फाइव अप टू द एज ऑफ टेन एंड एट दैट टाइम लॉर्ड कृष्ण वॉज गिवन चार्ज ऑफ द कैप्स और फिर अगले पांच साल पांच साल से लेकर दस साल तक इसको कहा गया है पौगंडा और इस समय भगवान को बच्चों को चराने की जिम्मेदारी दी जाती है नंद महाराज नंद महाराज वॉज ऑफ आइशिया and the children born into the families in that community they would naturally also grow up to be vaishya and vaishya in those days meant taking care of the cows to 5000 varsh pehle vrindavan mein vidyalay nahi hote the to krishna ka janm hua tha nand maharaj ke ghar mein aur nand maharaj vaishya hain और इसलिए ऐसा होता था कि वैश्य के घर में जो जन्मा है वो आगे चल के वैश्य ही बनेगा तो वैश्य के कार्य उसे सिखाए जाते थे और वैश्य का मुख मुख्य कार्य होता था गाय की देखभाल करना एंड देन द थर्ड स्टेज ऑफ द चाइल्डहुड इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड केशोर एंड दैट्स फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ 11 अप टू 15 एंड ऑफ द 15th ईयर एंड एट दैट टाइम लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज गिवन चार्ज ऑफ द काउस no longer just taking care of cows but it's given the cows uske baad ka jo bhag hota hai wo hota hai kishora jo hota hai 11 saal se leke 15 saal tak aur is dauran krishna ko bachchon se chhod ke ab gayon ki zimmedari di gayi thi they just celebrated actually the festival where krishna graduates from taking care of the cows to taking care of the cows it's a day called gopastami and in that day the cows are given a lot of special food and they're treated really nicely and special care to hali mein manate hain wo din jab krishna ko bachno ko chhod ke gaon ki zimmedari di jati hai aur us din ko manaya jata hai gopastami ke ke कहते हुए तो ये वो दिन है गोपश्मी पे जो गाय हैं उनको विभिन्न प्रकार के पदार्थ खाने के लिए दिए जाते हैं एस द बोथीस ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा वी आर वेरी मच कंसर्न फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ काउस लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज डिस्क्राइब दैट वी से नमो प्रमाण देवाया गो प्रमाण हटाया चा राइट यू ऑल नो दैट वर्शन इट्स वेल नोन 
mean that the cows and the brahmanas are both very dear to Lord Krishna. So devotees of Krishna, we always think a lot about the cows and we think about pleasing the cows and serving the cows. So Bhagavan Krishna ke bhakt honne ke nate hum bhi gayon ke shukh chintak rehte hain. Hume us shlok pata hoga namo brahman ya deva ya to brahman ya hita ya. To Bhagavan ko gai aur brahman priya hai. To Bhagavan ke bhakt honne ke nate hum bhi hamesha ye dekhna chahte hain ki gai aur brahman prasang rehen. So Lord Krishna grew up in the, with the cowherds people there in Vrindavan. And after, uh, when he was 11 years old, actually, Lord Krishna's life was a little different from normal children because he matured very quickly. Being, you know, because he's divine, he's not an ordinary child. He's a divine person. He's a supreme Lord. So, Although it's supposed to be the first five years, Lord Krishna was only three years and four months. And then when he went to the next stage, after three years and four months. So, in this way, we see that Bhagavan Krishna has grown up with the people of Vrindavan. And Bhagavan Krishna has grown up with the people of Vrindavan. He was very quickly because Bhagavan is a divya. He is not a sadharan child. तो आम तौर पर जो कुमार अवस्था होती थी पांच वर्ष तक जब भगवान उससे निकले उनकी उम्र उस समय केवल तीन वर्ष और चार महीने ही थी। So three years and four months in the Kumar stage. So when he was three years and four months, then he was given the calves, and he was in the Poganda stage for another three years and four months. So that was six years and eight months, and then the Kishor part where he was with the cows another Three years and four months, so altogether that was ten years were completed. So he was beginning his eleventh year when he was when he left Vrindavan and went to Mathura. So, in this way, the Lord has been in a state of coma for three years and four months, and then the second part of the Poganda, he also. पांच वर्ष के बजाय जल्दी केवल तीन वर्ष और चार महीने बिताए और कोमार अवस्था में भी किशोर अवस्था में पहुंच गए फिर और उसमें तीन साल चार महीने बिताए तो इस प्रकार जब वो वृंदावन छोड़ के गए तब उनकी उम्र लगभग दस वर्ष हो चुकी थी तो जब इस प्रकार 11 वर्ष की उम्र में कृष्णा ने अक्रूर को भेजा था कृष्णा और बलराम को मथुरा ले आने के लिए कृष्णा हैड स्पेंट हिज फर्स्ट 11 इयर्स और फर्स्ट 10 इयर्स देयर इन वृंदावन बट कामसा अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस चाइल्ड वाज द वन हु वाज सपोज्ड टू किल हिम सो कामसा हैड अरेंज्ड रेसलिंग मैच देयर इन मथुरा कृष्णा ने पहले 11 वर्ष वृंदावन में बिताए और फिर कंस को पता पड़ गया था कि कृष्णा ही वो बच्चा है जो उसे मार डालेगा तो इसलिए कंस ने कृष्णा को बुलाया और एक कुश्ती की लड़ाई रखी थी मथुरा में। Now sometimes if you see a wrestling match, you know maybe on television or something, you've seen wrestling match. Usually the people are, you know they're the balance, you know, the equal weight, equal size, you know, they're both big, strong people or something, you know. You wouldn't have a big, strong person fighting a little, thin person, you know. <laughs> they, they should be equally balanced, equally matched. So, when you look at the fight, you will see the fight in the fight, you will see the fight in the fight, you will see the fight in the fight in the fight in the fight, तब जो दो लोग लड़ रहे हैं दोनों बराबर के होते हैं दोनों बराबर की शक्ति के होते हैं बराबर की वजन के होते हैं ऐसा आपने कभी नहीं देखा होगा कि लड़ रहा है एक बहुत बड़ा है और एक बिल्कुल पतले आदमी के साथ लड़ रहा है ऐसा नहीं होता तो दिस कैम्सा हिड अरेंज अरेस्टिंग मैच लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड लॉर्ड बालराम बट it wasn't very fair. The wrestlers were like mountains. They were huge. 
and their, you know, their arms and their whole body was like rocks. And there's Krishna and Balaram, they're just 11 years old, they're cowherd boys, and their bodies are soft, and they're, they're quite small and frail looking compared to these wrestlers. So this Prakar said, Kamsa ne jo ye kushti ki ladai rakhi thi, wo ek tarike se sahi nahi thi, kyunke jo lad rahe hai Krishna aur Balram se, wo ek dam pahar ki tarah tagde the. Aur yaan Krishna Balram chote bachche hai, patle hai, unka sharir komal hai, naram hai. To is Prakar se usne jo ye kushti ka yud rakha tha, ye ek tarike se sahi nahi tha. Itna bada aadmi ise chote bachcho se lade hai. If you have our books, if you have the Krishna book or maybe the Srimad Bhagavatam, you can look at the illustration. You will see how the artists have depicted this Leela in the painting. It's very interesting to see. So if you have our Krishna Pustak Namak Kitab, then you can see how the Chitra has been put on this Leela. It's a very dangerous Chitra. But anyway, Krishna and Balaram, they're cowherd boys, and every day they would go to the forest in Vrindavan when they were children. And you know, children like to wrestle. They like to fight with each other and wrestle. And so when the Krishna and Balaram came to Mathura, they said, is this fair? Is this proper? And they said, well, you know, you're cowherd boys. Every day you're, we know you're playing very nicely. You're wrestling in the forest in Vrindavan every day. We know you're a good wrestler. So Krishna Balram, because he was in Vrindavan, he was in the mind, so he was in the mind, so he was in the mind, so he was in the mind. So when he came here in Mathura, when he was in the mind, जिनसे लड़ना है उनको देखा तो उन्होंने पूछा कि आपको लगता है ये सही है हमको इनसे लड़ा रहे हो तब उन्होंने कहा हाँ सही है आप लोग तो हम जानते हैं आप लोग तो वृंदावन में वनों में जाते हो और आप तो वैसे ही कुश्ती लड़ने के आदि हो तो आप हम जानते हैं आपको अच्छे से कुश्ती आती है and Nanda Maharaj and the other cowherd men, they'd all come from Vrindavan to see the wrestling match. The gopis didn't come. The gopis stayed behind. They have to take care of the cows and they have children to take care of. So that time the gopis didn't come. इस प्रकार से जब कुश्ती के मैदान में कृष्णा बलराम आए कुश्ती करने के लिए तो वहाँ पर नंद महाराज और और भी जो पुरुष हैं वो वृंदावन से आए थे वो कुश्ती को देख रहे थे परंतु जो गोपियाँ हैं वो नहीं आई थी उनको गायों का ख्याल रखना था अपने बच्चों का ख्याल रखना था तो वो नहीं आई थी वहाँ पर परंतु ठीक है ये क्योंकि गोपियों को पुनः अवसर प्राप्त होगा कृष्णा के साथ रहने के लिए and that happened at Kurukshetra और ये अवसर उन्हें मिला कुरुक्षेत्र में anyway today we're talking about this Damodar Lila which took place while Krishna is still at the Kumar stage he's not yet reached even three years or four months he's still a small child तो आज हम जो लीला की बात कर रहे हैं वो है ये दामोदर लीला की इस लीला में कृष्णा अभी छोटी उम्र के हैं वो कुमार अवस्था भी अभी नहीं पहुंचे हैं वो केवल तीन वर्ष के लगभग अभी उनकी उम्र है सो एज अ चाइल्ड यंग चाइल्ड नेचुरली व्हाट इज द चाइल्ड द चाइल्ड लाइक ही वांट्स टू ड्रिंक द मिल्क फ्रॉम द मदर्स तो छोटे बालक होने के नाते छोटे बच्चों को क्या पसंद आता है उनको माँ के स्थान से दूध पीना पसंद आता है एंड लॉर्ड कृष्णा ग्रू अप इन दैट वे फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री इयर्स और मोर ही वाज जस्ट सिंपली लिविंग ऑन द ब्रेस मिल्क ऑफ हिज मदर तो इस प्रकार से कुमार अवस्था में कृष्णा आदि थे अपने माँ के स्थान पर रहके उनका द So it happened, Mother Yashoda wants to take good care for her son. So she had some cows, she had some very special cows who were giving very nice sweet milk. So Mother Yashoda wanted to 
कि अपने पुत्र की अच्छे से देखभाल करें अच्छे से ख्याल रखें और माँ यशोदा के पास कुछ विशेष गायें थी जो बहुत विशेष दूध दिया करती थी सभी को दूध पसंद है आधुनिक समय है लोग ज्यादा कर स्वस्थ के विषय में रुचि नहीं रखते अस्वस्थ जीवन बिताते हैं उन्हें पता ही नहीं है कि दूध गाय के दूध पीने से क्या क्या लाभ होता है आप शुभ कार्य कर सकते हैं पर अभी इन लोगों ने एक नया बात और निकाला है कहते हैं वेगन मतलब ये दूध भी नहीं पीना चाहते हैं And the veg, in some ways, the vegan is right because the cows are so badly treated that when the cows don't give milk anymore, then the farmer will simply kill them. So, one way, this new vegan, which is coming out of the society, one way, this is right because sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. Sometimes it happens that cows are treated very badly. तो जो किसान है वो उसे मार डालता है सो वी सी लाइक इन इंडिया वेयर एवर देयर इज अ टेंपल द टेंपल विल कीप देयर ओन काउस एंड विद देयर ओन काउस दे विल हैव मिल्क व्हिच दे कैन ऑफर फॉर द डीटी व्हिच इज वर्शिपड इन द टेंपल तो भारत में हम खास तौर से देख सकते हैं कि हर मंदिर में अपना गौशाला होता है अपनी गायें होती है और वो गायों से वो दूध निकालते हैं और वो दूध भगवान को भोग लगाते हैं But the people are so cruel today. They they just keep the cow, and as soon as there's no milk, they have it slaughtered. They think there's no value in the whole cow. So, आजकल लोग बड़े क्रूर हैं। वो सोचते हैं कि ठीक है गाय रखते हैं, लेकिन जब तक गाय दूध देती है, जब गाय ने दूध देना बंद कर दिया, वो बोलते हैं आप इसको रखने का क्या फायदा? फिर उसे मार डाल। That's like just like it. So long as you're working, you have a job here in Dubai, it's okay. But as soon as you have no job, yeah, as soon as you are retired, then we just kill you, right? So, एक प्रकार से ऐसा है कि अगर आप यहाँ हैं और आपको नौकरी है, तो ठीक है. लेकिन जैसे आपकी नौकरी चली जाए, फिर आप भी जाओ. So that it's a very cruel. We're dealing with the cow. The cow is very sacred. The cow is one of the mothers, seven mothers. The cow is one of our mothers, so we, <laughs> we give great importance and respect. Try to take care of the cows, and we have our own cows. Like some of our temples, they're fortunate. They have cows, like in London, and our Bhakti Vedanta Manor, we have a herd of cows, and the milk there. We also um, retail it. We call it as इस प्रकार से हमें गायों की देखभाल करनी चाहिए और हम देखते हैं हमारे मंदिरों में अपनी गाय होती है जैसे विशेष करके लंदन में भक्ति वैगा की मैनर है वहाँ अपनी गाय है और उनसे जो दूध निकलता है उसे हम शीर्षक देते हैं ये अहिंसा दूध अहिंसा ये अहिंसा दूध है अहिंसा मतलब उस गाय पे हिंसा नहीं हो रही है तो अगर ये गाय बाद में जाके दूध देना बंद भी कर ले तो भी हम उसकी देखभाल करते हैं सो लाइक कृष्णा वाज अ यंग चाइल्ड एंड ही वाज ड्रिंकिंग हिज मदर्स मिल्क बट हिज मदर वाज आल्सो एज अ गोपी शी हैड आल्सो ड्यूटीज टू डू एट होम she can't just sit around all day she as well as taking care of her child she was also wants to, she wants to prepare some milk and yogurt and ghee for lord krishna us prakar se hum dekhte hain maa yashoda bhi krishna ki puri dekhbhal karti hain dhyan se unke liye karya karti hain 
परंतु ये पूरा समय कृष्ण को नहीं दे पाएंगे क्योंकि इनकी और जिम्मेदारियां भी हैं जैसे कृष्ण के लिए ही उन्हें कुछ दूध दही मक्खन इत्यादि बनाना है ताकि बाद में कृष्ण को ये खिला सके Mother Yashoda likes to cook for her son. She doesn't want anybody else to cook because she loves her son so much that she wants to cook for him. Mother Yashoda swayam apne putra Krishna ke liye pakana chahti hai kyunki wo usse itna prem karti hai. Wo nahi chahti hai ki koi aur Krishna ko paka ke khilaye. Wo swayam uske liye pakana chahti hai. And she thought another reason why she's cooking is she wants to make it so nice because she know that sometimes my son goes to the neighbors and he will steal the butter and milk from the neighbors so i want him to get from her own home he doesn't need to go to the other gopis to steal it he should have it at home so i want to make this so nice that he won't go to the neighbors house aur dusra karan wo khud pakana chahti hai krishna ke liye kyunki wo dekhna chahti hai ki ye bahut uttam shreni ka padarth bana hai krishna ke liye kyunki kabhi kabhi wo bolti hai krishna bahar ja ke bhi anya gopiyon ke ghar se chura ke kha raha hai तो वो सबसे अच्छा बनाना चाहती है कृष्ण के लिए ताकि वो बाहर जाके चोरी करना बंद कर दे नारायण और माँ यशोदा इसे नारायण को भी अर्पित करना चाहती है क्योंकि वो जानती है फिर ये कृष्ण के लिए सबसे श्रेष्ठ होगा So Mother Yashoda had these special cows, a little group of cows who were giving the best milk, and she would make sure they got the best grass. Because if they get very nice grasses, then they will give more and more sweet milk. So Mother Yashoda had a special group of cows who were giving the best milk, and she would make sure they got the best grass. So Mother Yashoda. उन गायों को बिल्कुल विशेष बहुत उत्तम श्रेणी का घास खिलाती थी क्योंकि वो जानती थी कि अगर ये घास खाएंगी तो उनका दूध और भी मीठा होगा सो मदर यशोदा and you have to boil off the water and the milk becomes even thicker and sweeter to maya shuda ne ye doodh ikattha kiya tha un gayon se aur doodh ko taiyari karne ke liye wo ise ubal rahi thi kyunki ye aam taur pe hota hai ki jab wo doodh nikalta hai usme bhi thoda pani hota hai to jab wo doodh ko ubala jata hai to pani nikal jata hai to keval bahut madhur doodh rehta hai so mother yashoda was feeding baby krishna she got baby krishna on her lap and baby krishna sucking away at her breast drinking her milk when mother yashoda remembers that oh the milk is on the stove and it's boiling over she has to put krishna down immediately and go running over to stop to stop the milk boiling over to is prakar se krishna maa yashoda ke sthan pe chipke hue hain unka doodh pee rahe hain और फिर उनको एहसास होता है कि अरे वो जो दूध मैंने उबलने के लिए रखा है वो अब गर्म होके उबल रहा है और गिर जाएगा तो इसलिए मुझे उसको बचाना होगा वो कृष्ण के लिए है तो उसे छोड़ के वहां ध्यान देने जाती सो वेन मदर यशोदा तो जब माँ यशोदा ने छोटे कृष्ण को उतार दिया तो कृष्ण को थोड़ा गुस्सा आ गया and she's gone off to take care of that other milk ko keh rahe are main meri maa ke doodh ka anand utha raha tha ab ye mujhe chhod ke gayi hai dusre doodh ko sambhalne ke liye krishna is thinking she's not taking care of me she's just taking care of that milk krishna soch rahe hain ye mera khayal nahi rakh rahi hai ye keval us doodh ka khayal rakh rahi hai na earlier i was telling you about krishna and balaram how they came to mathura for the wrestling match and so the wrestlers were punching krishna and balaram so abhi hi katha mein main pehle aapko bata raha tha ki kaise krishna aur balaram mathura aaye kushti ke liye aur kushti ki shuruaat mein jo jo jin jin se wo lad rahe the wo dono dono hi krishna balaram ko mukke maar rahe the sometimes you know these wrestling matches they they punch each other so these big wrestlers who were like rocks they were punching at krishna and balaram but krishna and balaram they're not feeling any pain rather they're enjoying this. they're taking pleasure in these people punching them 
इस प्रकार से बड़े बड़े सांड जैसे बिल्कुल पहाड़ जैसे तगड़े ये लोग ये दोनों जो कृष्ण से कुश्ती कर रहे हैं कृष्ण बलराम को मारे जा रहे हैं मुख्य परंतु कृष्ण बलराम को ये मुख्य पाके कोई चोट नहीं लग रही थी वो तो इस प्रकार के ये जो मुख्य मार रहे हैं उसमें भी आनंद उठा रहे थे कृष्ण कृष्ण बॉडी इज नॉट मटीरियल कृष्ण स्पिरिचुअल so somebody is punching him he's he's enjoying it to so, krishna ka sharir adhyatmik hai bhautik nahi hai to isliye jab unhe koi maar raha tha unhe dard nahi ho raha tha hamari tarah nahi hai hame koi mukke marega to dard hoga to isliye krishna ka sharir adhyatmik hai to jab unko bhi mukke pad rahe the wo uska anand utha rahe the and mother yashoda she's put down krishna and gone off to take care of the milk and krishna is angry he's not happy with her तो माँ यशोदा ने कृष्ण को उतारा है और दूध का ख्याल करने गई है तो कृष्ण को ये बात पसंद नहीं आए वो इससे खुश नहीं है वो माँ यशोदा से क्रोधित है so seems, seems Krishna is enjoying this, but these wrestlers are demons. So, यहाँ पर हमें थोड़ा विरोधा भास लग सकता है कि माँ यशोदा कृष्ण को गुस्सा दिला दी हैं और हम कहते हैं कि वो कृष्ण की बड़ी भक्त हैं और वहाँ पर जो लड़ रहे हैं कृष्ण से कुश्ती में आ तो वो कृष्ण को आनंद दे रहे हैं हालांकि वो कृष्ण को मार रहे हैं तो यहाँ हमें विरोधा भास थोड़ा प the problem you know we're thinking you know mother you should not say the body she's made krishna angry is, has she gone against her is she is she a devotee or not to yahan par aap samasya samajh sakte hain ki ma yashoda ne krishna ko dukhi kiya hai usse gussa dila diya hai to kya aap abhi kehte hain ma yashoda abhi bhi bhagwan ki badi bhakt hai Oh, she is a devotee. Why? But why? Why did she make Krishna angry? Well, uh, actually, she's going to take care of the milk for Krishna. That milk is for Krishna, right? She wants to give that milk to Krishna. She thinks if that milk all boils over and goes on the stove, I have no milk to feed Krishna. So I have to save the milk. I want to give this very nice milk for my son, for baby Krishna. तो माँ यशोदा ने उस समय कृष्ण को उतारा था तो वो दूध के चक्कर में गई थी लेकिन वो दूध भी वो बना के उसे कृष्ण को ही पिलाना चाहती थी उनका कारण अभी भी कृष्ण ही था कि कैसे मैं ये दूध को बचा लू और वो उसको कृष्ण को पिला पाऊ डिष्ण नीट द मिल्क नाउ वी से कृष्ण इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एवरीथिंग नीड एनीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज हिज He doesn't need our offering when we're offering fruits and flowers. Does he need them? No, he doesn't really need them, right? He has everything. He doesn't need Mother Yashoda's milk, but he enjoy. He's enjoying this loving exchange with his devotee. So, can we say that Krishna would want to drink milk? Krishna is the Param Purushottam Bhagwan. हम मंदिर में भी उनको फूल इत्यादि इतनी सामान चढ़ाते हैं तो हमें क्या लगता है कृष्ण को इन सब की जरूरत है क्या नहीं कृष्ण को इन सब की जरूरत नहीं है वो तो परम पुरुषोत्तम भगवान है परंतु जब माँ यशोदा उनको ये दूध पिला रही है ये जो प्रेम का आदान प्रदान है ये प्रेम का आस्वादन कृष्ण करना चाहते हैं सो कृष्ण इज एंजॉइंग दिस वंडरफुल एक्सचेंज इज शोइंग सम एंगर बट the anger is due to his loving feeling for mother yashoda that he's thinking that why yashoda is neglecting me just for some milk she should she should give her love to me why is she showing so much love for the milk but that milk is because she wants to give it to krishna यहाँ पर भी कृष्ण वास्तव में क्रोधित नहीं है वो जो इस प्रेम का आदान प्रदान है उनकी मां के साथ उसमें आनंद उठा रहे हैं 
तो सिर्फ सोच रहे हैं कि क्यों मेरी माँ मुझे छोड़ के गई है दूध के लिए परंतु माँ का कारण है वो दूध भी कृष्ण को ही पिलाना चाहती थी and sometimes it said that in vrindavan everything is conscious so the milk is also conscious and the milk was seeing the loving exchange between mother yashoda and lord krishna and the milk was thinking that oh krishna is enjoying the milk from mother yashoda's breast krishna won't want my milk my life is useless and the milk thought i might as well commit suicide i might as well give up my life and then this way the milk spoiled over to hum ye bhi sunte hain ki vrindavan mein kaha jata hai sab kuch cheez chetan hoti hai sab mein chetna hoti hai to ye jo doodh ubal ke aa raha tha ye doodh krishna aur unki maa ke beech mein jo prem ka sambandh hai jo krishna doodh pee rahe hain use dekh raha tha aur soch raha tha ki are ab krishna is maa yashoda ka doodh pee lega to mujhe nahi piyega तो मेरे जीवित होने का क्या फायदा मैं आत्महत्या कर लेता हूं इसलिए वो उबल के गिरने आया था सो इन दिस वे लॉर्ड कृष्णा वाज पुट डाउन ऑन द ग्राउंड व्हाई मदर यू शुड हैव वेंट टू टेक केयर ऑफ द मिल्क सो लॉर्ड कृष्णा थिंक्स आई हैव हैव टू डू सम मिस्चिफ जस्ट इज अ यंग चाइल्ड यू नो यंग चिल्ड्रन दैट दैट एज दे लाइक टू क्रॉल अराउंड एवरीवेयर and they want to take everything and grab everything so lord krishna saw the pot of yogurt which mother yashoda had been churning into butter so bhagwan krishna ko ye dekh ke jab gussa aata hai to wo bolte hain ab main kuch sharaat karunga to ab jante hain us umar mein jab bacche hote hain unko idhar udhar rehte hue jana idhar udhar jana ye sharaat karna pasand aata hai तो कृष्णा भी सोचते हैं मैं कुछ शरारत करूंगा वो मटका देखते हैं जिसमें माँ दही का मंथन कर रही थी लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज वेरी क्लेवर ही गॉट अ स्टोन वेरी केयरफुली ही ब्रोक द बॉटम ऑफ द पार्ट एंड टूक आउट ऑल द योगर्ट फ्रॉम द पार्ट ही इज टेकिंग इट ही इज गिविंग इट टू द मंकीज ही टेकिंग सम फॉर हिमसेल्फ भगवान कृष्ण शरारती हैं उन्होंने पत्थर का टुकड़ा मिला उस पत्थर के टुकड़े से उन्हें मटका फोड़ दिया और मक्खन निकाला और कुछ मक्खन खुद खा रहे हैं कुछ बंदरों को खिला रहे हैं He did it all in such a way that they didn't make much noise mother you should have wasn't alerted to what was going on he was doing it all in a very silent manner और कृष्ण ने ये सब कुछ इस प्रकार किया कि ये शरारत करते समय अह इतना आवाज नहीं हुआ बहुत शांति से उन्होंने किया तो उनकी मां भी सावधान नहीं हुई कि क्या हो रहा है so then lord krishna realized that he done something which was going to upset his mother and he thought he better move away and he got out of that room went to another room aur bhagwan krishna ko ye laga unhone kuch aisa karya kiya hai jisse unki maa pareshan ho jayegi to us kamre se nikal ke dusre kamre mein chale gaye and then mother yashoda comes back after taking care of the milk and she sees all things krishna's done is broken the pots and there's yogurt and butter all over the place so mai yashoda dusre kamre mein aati hai aur dekhti hai isne sab matke tod diye hain aur idhar udhar har jagah dahi aur makhan gira hua hai mother yashoda has been churning the butter uh, the yogurt into butter she has a stick which she uses for churning so she came back she's carrying the stick and and so the, then she is looking where's my son where is krishna where is he gone to so, maya shoda ke paas wo lakdi ka tukda hota tha jisse wo mantan kiya karti thi to lakdi ko leke aati hai aur wo dekhti hai kya ho raha hai mera bachcha kahan hai kahan chale gaya hai and she goes looking around and krishna is sitting with the monkeys eating the yogurt at the same time he sees his mother coming so when he sees his mother coming with a stick in her hand then he becomes afraid and he jumps up and he runs to so krishna ki mata yashoda jab jaati hai aur dekhti hai ki uske haath mein danda hai aur wo dekhti hai krishna wahan baitha hai bandaron ke sath aur unhe khila raha hai to jab krishna apni maa ko aate hue dekhta hai to bhaybeet ho jata hai aur turant bhagne lagta hai the mother yashoda she is a heavier woman you know she's in the vaishya family they have a lot of cows they have a lot of milk you drink a lot of milk you can you can get healthy you you know you can put on weight easily with a lot of milk products if you eat a lot of cheese and butter and 
yoga, all these things, you know, it's very easy to put on weight. So Mother Yashoda was a little health, healthier woman. She couldn't run very fast. Krishna's a little boy, he was running, running. And Mother Yashoda is chasing him and she's carrying her stick as well in her hand. so, Mother Yashoda kept shouting to Krishna, come back, come back, come here, come here. And Krishna said, no, no, you've got that stick in your hand, I'm not coming. So, Mother Yashoda is saying, why are you running back? Why are you running back? And Krishna is saying, no, no, I'm not coming. He's 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 saying, no, no, I'm not coming. Of course, Mother Yashoda loves Krishna very much. She's not going to beat him. Prabhupada said to the teachers in the Gurukula, he said, you don't beat the children. He said, you may show the stick to them and threaten them, but you don't use it. So Mother Yashoda was, you know, she, she, some, because she'd been churning the butter, she had that stake. She didn't have the intention to be Krishna. <coughs> anyway, Lord Krishna... <coughs> So I'll come back, but you have to put the stake down. I'm not going to come back till you put the stake down. So Mother Yashoda puts the stake down, and Krishna comes to Mother Yashoda. And then Mother Yashoda considers what to do with this child, that he's so mischievous. He's, that if I don't do something to restrict him, he'll go to the neighbors, and he'll create trouble for all the neighbors. So she decides she'll try to tie him up, to keep him in in their own yard. So, this is the case of Krishna not coming to them. Then, Maa Yashoda is giving a hand to them. Then, Krishna comes and takes them. But, they think, what do I do with this child? How much is it? 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 On the mother you showed her there, there's this mortar there which was used. And she ties Krishna <laughs> to this mortar to restrict him running here and there. So But the problem was the rope wasn't long enough. Mother Yashoda tried to tie the rope, it wasn't long enough. She got more rope. Wasn't long enough, still wasn't long enough. And she got more rope and more rope. It was never long enough. It was always just too short. How is it possible? She got so much rope, all the ropes to Braja she brought. Somehow, still wasn't enough to bind Krishna. This is Lord Krishna showing his inconceivable potency just to bewilder the mind of Mother Yashoda. Mother Yashoda, she's a, a simple lady, you know, a simple village lady, and she could not understand what was happening. She became, well, she became just, just bewildered. What is wrong? Uh, then Lord <coughs> Krishna agreed, let Mother Yashoda tie me up. 
और इस प्रकार माँ यशोदा को भ्रमित कर रहे हैं तो माँ यशोदा सोच रही है अरे क्या हो रहा है ये बंद रहा क्यों नहीं है तो अंत में कृष्ण मानते हैं और बोलते हैं ठीक है अब मैं माँ यशोदा तो ना बन जाती हूँ सो दिस इज दर ऑफ दिस past time the very special past time which is being commemorated not just one day you know like other events like govardhan puja we celebrated one day in the month but this damodaran leela we celebrated every day for the whole month ye is leela ki bahut visheshta hai anya koi bhagwan ka vishesh mahotsav aata hai hum use ek din manate hain lekin ye puri damodaran leela ko hum pure mahine tak manate hain so it, it's a it's so special it's so meaningful to the devotees as we consider how lord krishna is the swayam bhagavan the original supreme personality of godhead and he is running in the courtyard being chased by his mother and he allows his mother even to catch him and then he allows his mother to tie him up although krishna is the supreme lord he cannot be captured or conquered by is conquered by the pure love of his devotee to ye bhakton ke liye bahut hi vishesh leela hai kyunki yaha swayam param purushottam bhagwan hai aur wo apne ghar ke andar mein bhay se bhag rahe hai aur maan chadi leke unko dara ke bhaga rahe hai aur halaki wo param purushottam bhagwan hai jise koi nahi baand sakta lekin wo maa yashoda dwara is leela mein baandte hain और इससे ये हमें पता पड़ता है कि भगवान को केवल शुद्ध प्रेम द्वारा ही बांधा जा सकता है ना ग्रेट योगीज एंड ज्ञानीज एंड फिलोसफर्स मेंटल स्पेक्यूलेटर्स एंड ऋषिज एंड साधुस दे आर ऑल ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द सुप्रीम एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ बट दैट सुप्रीम एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ इज बीइंग टाइड अप बाय मदर यशोदा इन हर होम उस प्रकार से बड़े बड़े ज्ञानी योगी जो बड़े बड़े मुनि हैं संत साधु हैं वो भगवान को जानने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं लेकिन वही परम पुरुषोत्तम भगवान यहाँ माँ यशोदा द्वारा उसके घर में बांधा जा रहा है सो अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वंडरफुल पोजीशन ऑफ मदर यशोदा ग्रेटर इवन लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा और इवन लॉर्ड शिवा बट मदर यशोदा इज अब ऑल ऑफ दैम she is always the mother of lord krishna to so, yahan par hum uh ma yashoda ki vishesh sthiti kya hai usse samajh sakte hain to ma yashoda bade bade devi devtaon se bhi unchi sthiti hai jaise brahma ji se shiv ji se bhi unki unchi sthiti hai ki yahan wo bhagwan ko baand pa rahi hai now you may say well i thought they back here is the mother Krishna is the Devaki, the mother. Is she the one who gives birth to Krishna in Mathura? What about the, how does she show to become Krishna's mother? So, you all are thinking that in the Vastu, she is Krishna's mother, Mother Devaki. She has given birth to Krishna in Mathura. Here, how can we say that Mother Yashoda is Krishna's mother? Because at, remember, at the birth of Krishna in the prison house in Mathura. <laughs> Vasudev brought the child Krishna over to the home of Nanda Maharaj. तो आपको याद होगा कारागार में जब कृष्ण को जन्म हुआ था उनका जन्म होते हुए ही वसुदेव उस बच्चे कृष्ण को नंद महाराज के घर ले गए थे. He exchanged the baby born to Devaki and Vasudev. He exchanged that child Krishna with. He took the girl who was delivered by Mother Yashoda. and he brought the girl back to mathura to unhone bachcho ka adli adal badal kar liya tha jo vasudev aur devaki ko jo putra janm hua tha krishna ve unhe nand maharaj aur yashoda maa ke ghar chhoda aur yashoda maiya ko jo putri ka janm hua tha wo use wapas kara kar liya and in this way krishna grew up there in the home of nand maharaj mother yashoda and he had his childhood leela there और इस प्रकार कृष्णा बड़े हुए मां यशोदा और नंद महाराज के घर में और वहां उनकी बाल्य लीला है एंड द मोस्ट वंडरफुल पास्ट टाइम इज दिस दामोदर लीला कृष्णा बीइंग टाइड अप बाय मदर यशोदा और इसमें सबसे अद्भुत लीला है ये दामोदर लीला कि कृष्णा बंधे जा रहे हैं मां यशोदा द्वारा बट देयर इज अनदर पर्पस इन दिस पास्ट टाइम एंड दैट इज दैट लॉर्ड कृष्णा नोस 
that the two sons of Kuvera had been cursed to become trees. परंतु इस लीला में भगवान का एक और उद्देश्य था भगवान जानते हैं कि कुएर के दो पुत्र उन्हें श्राप मिला था और वो वृक्ष बने थे and they were standing in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj Lord Krishna with the help of the mortar pulled it between the two trees knocked over the trees and when the trees were knocked over from out of the trees appeared the two demigods who were the sons of Kubera us prakar se krishna ne is utkal ka sahara lete hue wo do vrikshon ke beech mein gaye us do vrikshon ko gira diya aur usme se wo do kuber ke putra wapas bahar aaye jo nal kuber aur mani gri the and the two sons of kubera they Fall down to Lord Krishna's feet, and they offer obeisances to him, and they beg forgiveness for their offenses. And Lord Krishna tells them, "Now, your devotees, you must be very careful to be good devotees. Now you can go back to heaven, and you can stay there, but don't fall into Maya again." So, still, this Riksha se do nal kuvir mani gri nikalte hain, Bhagwan ko pranam karte hain, shama yachna mante hain. अब कृष्णा उन्हें कहते हैं ठीक है अब आप दोनों अच्छे भक्त हो गए हो वापस अपने जो स्वर्गीय लोक हो है वहां जाओ और दोबारा माया में मत गिरना इन हेवन इट्स इजी टू गेट इन टू माया स्वर्ग में आसान है माया में फंस जाना सो यू आल्सो हैव टू बी केयरफुल हियर इन टू टाइम आपको भी यहां सावधान रहना है डोंट गेट इन टू माया माया में मत फंसना So in this film, one past time, Lord Krishna was able to fulfill many purposes. So in this prakar, ekhi lila se Bhagwan kai uteshit kiyo. So we are observing this uh, Damodarastika. We sing the wonderful song Damodar, the eight verses of Damodarastika, glorifying the past time, and we also offer one lamp to Krishna. So is. इस महोत्सव को मनाते हुए हम दामोदर अष्टकम ये जो गीत है इसमें आठ श्लोक है ये भी गाते हैं और साथ साथ भगवान को घी का दिया अर्पित करते हैं अन्यथा जब कोई पूजा करता है भगवान की एक ही पुजारी होता है एक ही आरती पुजारी करता है लेकिन दामोदर घी का दिया तो सब मिलकर दिखा सकते हैं and by offering the lamp you get great benefit it destroys a lot of bad karma from our past aur ghee ka diya dikha ke aapko bahut labh prapt hote hain hamare pichle janmon ke kai paap wo nasht ho jate hain there's a story about one young lady lalitika she was a princess and she was very beautiful and very opulent born in a very wealthy family and she was very beautiful and in the month of kartik she would offer thousands of lamps everywhere she would light lamps all over the temple and she would light lamps every doorway and she would light lamps along the side of the river and she put lamps on the mountains and she would even light lamps on the wells so ek ek stree ki katha hai lalitika uska naam bahut ek wo rani thi bahut sundar thi bahut aishwarya tha usko to kartik ke mahine mein wo har jagah diye bhagwan ko dikhati thi mandir mein diye lagati thi mandir ki chaukat mein parvaton par nadiyon par pure shehar mein aur yahan tak ke kuye par bhi wo diye rakhti thi and she would do this every day during the month of kartik aur wo ye kartik ke mahine mein pratidin kiya karti thi so all the other people in the palace they were all surprised that you know why she does like this you know so many lights every day why and so they asked her please can you tell us why you're doing this she said well do you know who i was in my last life तो जो सब और महल में थे वो ये देख के आश्चर्य में पड़ जाते थे क्यों आप इतना हर रोज जाके हर जगह दिया रख के आ रहे हो हमें बताओ तो महिला बोलती है अच्छा आपको पता है मैं मेरे पिछले जन्म में कौन थी माई प्रीवियस लाइफ आई वॉज अ लिटल 
and I look, I, I have, I was living in a temple, and I was very hungry. There was no food. I was so hungry. तो कहती हैं आपको पता है मैं मेरे पिछले जन्म में एक चूहा थी और मैं एक मंदिर में रहती थी और वहाँ खाने को कुछ भी नहीं था और मुझे एक दिन बहुत भूख लगी थी. But she said, someone offered a giveaway. They had a giveaway for me, and I came forward and I began to taste the ghee on the wick, and it was so nice. I began to eat the cotton wool. I was eating the wick, but as I was eating, a big cat appeared. उन्होंने कहा तो मैं किसी ने ना ghee में डुबा के दिया रखा था भगवान को अर्पित किया था तो मैं आई तो जैसे ही मैं वो घी चपने लगी हाँ मुझे बहुत स्वादिष्ट मिला और जैसे ही मैं उस कपास जिस पे घी लगा हुआ था उसको पूरा खाने लगी तो एक बहुत बड़ी बिल्ली वहां गई हाउ इज यू फील बिग कैट अपीयर्स इफ यू आर लिटिल माउस एंड यू दिस बिग कैट कम वो बी टेरिफाइड राइट सो द लिटिल माउस सो द कैट बट इज ही थिंग द घी वेक एट द सेम टाइम यू सो हंगरी कुम गिव अप द घी वेक He ran away with the wick in his mouth. The lit, the the ghee wick was burning, and he he ran away. But the the ghee wick somehow set fire to the body of the mouse. आपको कैसा महसूस लगेगा अगर हम चूहे हैं और एक बड़ी बिल्ली आ जाए तो हम बहुत भयभीत हो जाएंगे. तो इसी प्रकार वो चूहा भी भयभीत हो गया और वो घी खाना छोड़ नहीं रहा था. उसे घी भी पसंद था. तो वो घी का वो जो जो कपास से लगा हुआ घी है और वो जो चल रहा है दिया उसे लेके भागा बिल्ली को देखते हुए लेकिन कुछ ही समय में वो जो आग थी उस दिए की उससे इस चूहे का पूरा शरीर पे लग गई हुआ And during this month of party, this happened, dancing in front of the deity. And this way, the mouse gave up his body. Next life, he was born <coughs> princess. So, इस प्रकार जब उसके शरीर को आग लग गई, तो वो उछल रहा था, कूद रहा था चूहा, है ना? जब दर्द के मारे, परंतु भगवान के आगे उछल रहा था, कूद रहा था, तो ऐसे प्रतीत हो रहा था, वो भगवान के आगे नाच रहा है. और कार्तिक का महीना था तो इस प्रकार भगवान के आगे नाचते कूदते हुए उसने अपना शरीर तागा और अगले जन्म में वो ये नानी बनी सो कृष्ण भगवान कृष्ण ने सोचा ये छोटा सा चूहा मेरे आनंद के लिए नाच रहा है तो उसे अगले जन्म में अच्छा बहुत अच्छा जन्म प्रदान किया That if I got all that benefit just by one life, I'm going. That's why I'm offering so many thousands of lives. You see, I want to get the greatest benefit in the next life. So Lalitika ne socha agar ek diye se mujhe itna lab pradan hua hai, to isliye main har jagah asankhya deep lagana chahti hu taaki agle janam mein aur better lab pradan. Of course, we don't just simply want to be a princess. We just You don't want to be so very wealthy and very beautiful. That's very temporary. That's finished with the body. We want to get something more than that. We want to get the greatest gift, eternal life. So, basically, we don't see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. We don't want to see this as a big rani. समाप्त हो जाता है हम तो उससे भी ऊंची चीज चाहते हैं जो सबसे उत्तम चीज है वी वांट टू गेट फ्री बर्थ इन डेथ दैट इज समथिंग मोर देन एनी मटेरियल बेनिफिट हम जन्म और मृत्यु से निकलना चाहते हैं ये कोई भी भौतिक लाभ से ज्यादा लाभ है सो दैट्स द आइडिया बिटवीन द आइडिया ऑफ ऑफरिंग द लैंड टू द लॉर्ड दैट We want to please the Lord. We want to develop our devotion. तो ये कारण है हम भगवान को घी का दिया दिखाते हैं हम भगवान को प्रसन्न करना चाहते हैं और भक्ति चाहते हैं. And it's by devotion we can actually get the perfection of life. और ये भक्ति द्वारा है हम जीवन की सिद्धि प्राप्त कर सकते हैं. Are there any questions? 
अगर अभी आप में से किसी को कोई प्रश्न हो आप पूछ सकते हैं she opened kilam for her own uh, very precious object something more materially i think so is it okay to think like that if it was a material life like this well does she necessarily want something material she wants to get certainly more benefit she already had everything materially but she must have understood that there is something more than just simply material benefit this in this life of ours we should think about spiritual life not the material thing which you want to ask for well material things you get according to your karma <laughs> right every everyone is suffering and enjoying according to our karma according to the past and so that's arranged by destiny we say destiny karma but spirituality our, our opportunity to develop our spiritual life that doesn't depend on karma the opportunity to develop your spiritual life depends on mercy the mercy which comes from a devotee that somebody you know in, invites you to go to the satsang somebody gives you a book or somebody gives you prasadam or somebody tells you come for this program festival maybe that kind of mercy which gives us the opportunity to contact devotees and to develop the path of bhakti to mata ji ne pucha ki ye jo rani lalita ka thi wo bhagwan ko bhautik cheez ke liye diye dikha rahi thi to kya ye sahi hai to maharaj ji ne ka हमें पता नहीं है वो भौतिक के लिए दिखा रही थी या नहीं क्योंकि पहले ही वो रानी थी उसको शायद पता होगा कि इससे भी ऊंचा कुछ प्राप्त करने के लिए है फिर माता जी ने कहा कि महाराज क्या हम जब कुछ ऐसा करते हैं हम भौतिक के लिए नहीं करना चाहिए आध्यात्मिक के लिए तो महाराज ने कहा हाँ भौतिक चीजें हमारे पहले के किए गए कर्मों से हम तक पहुंच जाएगी हर कोई कुछ भोग कर रहा है कुछ सुख भोग रहा है या दुख भोग रहा है अपने पहले के कर्मों की वजह से लेकिन हमें आध्यात्मिक चीज का प्रयास करना चाहिए जो कर्म पर निर्धारित नहीं आध्यात्मिक प्रगति प्राप्त होती है कोई भक्त की कृपा से कोई भक्त आपको कहेगा अरे आओ आज इस सत्संग में आओ या आरती के कार्यक्रम में आओ तो भक्त की कृपा से भक्ति प्राप्त होती है तो वो भी तो हमारे कर्मो की ही कुछ स्वीकृति होगी ऐसे ही तो नहीं मत दया हो जाएगी हम पे <laughs> Maharaj, in continuation to this question, uh, her question is that Maharaj, you said that we get devotion by the mercy of a devotee. So Maharaj is saying, then, then I feel that it is also due to my some karma only that my devotee will feel merciful upon me. So then it again comes down to karma. Is that the right understanding she is saying? No. Right. It doesn't just come down to karma. Right. Devotion doesn't depend on karma. It depends on the devotee that they're giving bhakti. You get bhakti from somebody who has bhakti, from a devotee. They give you bhakti. It's not to do with your karma. I mean, people we see it, all kinds of people come to Krishna consciousness. Now some people may have very good karma, but they're not devotees. There, there aren't people, you know, they're very much in the mood of goodness. They have a lot of uh, piety, material piety, 
but they may, they're not, they may not be devotees. Why not? Well, they, they're happy. They just feel satisfied with what they have. You know, they don't want to accept the path of devotion. So everybody has independence. They have that free will to accept devotion or not. They don't want to accept devotion. Krishna doesn't force anyone to have the free will. But it doesn't depend on karma. And we see sometimes people with very bad karma, they have a lot of very bad karma, but they can be very good devotees. Maharaj is saying that karma is not in the karma, but it is not in the bhakti. And a lot of times we see that some people have a very good karma, but they don't become bhakti. Why? Because they are getting good karma, 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 they are getting good karma. And sometimes some people have a very bad karma, but they become bhakti. So bhakti is not in the karma, but bhakti is not in the karma. Maharaj, what's your actual answer? Uh, will I get mercy of another devotee if I have the karma to get it or no? Like it's, it, that, that's what she wants to. Well, oh, yeah. it, it doesn't depend on you. It depends more on the devotee. So, jo aapko bhakt aapko kripa de raha hai, us par nirbhar hai. Aapke karma ke wajah se wo aapko kripa de raha hai, aisa nahi. Lekin, prabhu, aapko bhi kripa aapko aise nita Suddenly, we have to do the bhakti kari digest. Suddenly, we normally don't feel attracted, but we don't feel attracted. But next week, the time comes, suddenly... Maharaj Mataji is asking, many times it happens, we meet a devotee, yet we don't feel attracted to bhakti. And then after being in touch with a devotee, there comes a particular point, and only from that point, we feel attracted to do bhakti. Make it like that. But what, what, what is happening? You initially contacted the devotee and you didn't feel attracted to it. But the devotee, just by his presence, he had some effect on you. That you were not initially attracted. But after some time, maybe, you know, in the beginning, you think, no, this is not for me, I don't want. But then somehow later on, gradually, we think actually, this is, I need this, I, this is something which is good for me. So there is, although initially you didn't accept it, but it still, it had some effect. And then later on, it, 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 it becomes more possible, but it becomes possible for them to take up. Maharaj Kere, it's like that when you get to the first time, maybe you don't get to the first time, but when you get to the first time, Sometimes coming to Krishna consciousness in the beginning, you know, I think, no, I, I think this is not really for me. I think I'm not ready for this yet. You know, and we want to go out and have some more sense gratification, and you know, and then we after we think actually I, I should go back to Krishna, I take up Krishna. So we see like that sometimes in the beginning, people are restless that you know I'm not ready to take up to do all this and what's required to be a devotee, I'm not ready to follow. But then you know, gradually it starts to make sense and. Somehow the impressions are there. So the initial impression had some effect. Although in the beginning we didn't immediately take up Krishna consciousness, but the initial impression was there. It had some impact, had some effect on us. And later on we come back to Krishna. कोई भक्ति के बारे में सुनता है आता है कार्यक्रम में और सोचता है वो ये मेरे लिए नहीं है मैं इसको नहीं करूंगा और वो फिर बाहर जाता है इंद्रतृप्ति के कार्य में लगता है फिर कुछ समय बाद आता है 
नहीं मुझे शायद भक्ति करनी ही चाहिए वो सोचता है तो कहते हैं महाराज कह रहे हैं कि ये उस भक्त का पहली मुलाकात का ही कुछ असर प्रभाव होता है जो शायद थोड़े समय बाद ही आप भक्ति में आए लेकिन उसका प्रभाव जरूर होता है तो हाँ इस प्रकार के लोगों को शुरुआत में आकर्षण करने के लिए आप ऐसे कह सकते हैं later on we find out that you know well if krishna wants us to have these things he'll give us if we if we need them krishna will arrange them. and if he doesn't give them then we should think then krishna thinks maybe this is not good for me for our our benefit that is not giving us to pehle jab hum aise prarthnaye karte hain to hame soch हम ऐसे पहले प्रार्थना करते हैं लेकिन जब हम भक्ति में आगे प्रगति करेंगे तो हम समझ जाते हैं कि अगर कृष्णा को चाहिए ये मेरे लिए लाभदायक है तो कृष्णा खुद मुझे दे देंगे और अगर कृष्णा ने मुझे नहीं दिया तो शायद ये मेरे लाभ के लिए नहीं But uh, then for Kaliya Daman he did so that time he was in the which age? He is in Pogonda or he is in Kumara was? Kaliya Daman, that's that yeah, that's older, <laughs> much older, yes. But before, before of course, well, no, he's still in Braja, but it, either Pogonda or Kaisor. I'm not sure what age he would be, but he. Uh, Kaliya comes. Does it come before the Govardhan Puja or after Govardhan Puja? I think it's not before. Before. Well, if it's before, then it's Poganda. Poganda. Yeah, because uh, Govardhan Puja took place. Krishna was, I think, seven. certainly do offer some service there you, you can do that the deep down here it's not that you have to you, in fact the the dam is wherever krishna is right so if you are in krishna consciousness you know your home can also be dam you know shril prabhupad was in america but he said i'm always in vrindavan because i'm always thinking of krishna so if you have your home krishna conscious then you can also consider the home to be like dam and you can offer the the, the deep dam there but people could also do it on your behalf but it depends a lot on their attitude you know they're going to do it for you, you know what is their attitude so 
ultimately we should really do these things on for ourselves. कृष्णा के बारे में सोच रहे हैं तो उसी प्रकार से अगर हम सही मनोभाव से करेंगे तो वो बेहतर है और जब हम किसी और को देते हैं दीप दान करने के लिए वो किस मनोभाव से कर रहा है हमें पता नहीं होता तो बेहतर है आप ये कार्य खुद कीजिए There's also a pastime which I didn't tell you, but maybe since just well, since you're all here, it's a, I just to tell you that even someone doesn't do any of the worship, but if they simply see another person doing it, then they get one sixth of the benefit. And there's a famous pastime which is told, which is taken from one of the Puranas, which tells about one man who he saw a lot of people doing the Damodar Puja and he saw people during this month of Kartik, you know, people make vows, they do things like fastings and, and they do extra chanting. And, and so he happened to see all these people doing a lot of vows, you know, some were doing Puja and Kirtan, some were offering lights. He'd never seen people do these things before. And this man was sinful. And somehow he was seeing these people do all of these things. And it just came to the end of the month of Kartik. Just on the very last day of Kartik, he, a big snake appeared and bit this man. And it was a poison snake. So the man fell unconscious and he died. And so he, he was taken, his subtle body was taken by the Yamaduts. They took him to Yamalok. And Yamaraj asked Chitragupta, so who is this man? What has he done? And Chitragupta said, he's a very sinful man. He never did anything good. All sins. So Yamaraj said, take him to Kumbhipakaloka. You know Kumbhipakaloka? You know that? Place? They have a big walk of boiling oil. And they put the people into the violin. You know, the subtle body. We go to Yamalok, the gross body doesn't go. We give up the gross body. The subtle body goes. They take the subtle body and they do things like you know, put you into the violin oil. So the subtle body, you experience pain, but you don't die. <laughs> so he, they put this man, they threw him into the boiling oil. But as soon as he contacted the boiling oil, it all became cool. And all the Yamadutas were very shocked. They said, oh, we never saw anything. What happened like this? This, this is very strange. And so that time Narada Muni came there. And Narada Muni told them, he said, you know, you're not going to be able to punish this man. And the Yamadudas said, why not? He's very sinful. He did so many bad things. Narada Muni said, yes, but you have to understand, during the month of Kartik, he never did anything, but he saw the people doing all the worship. He saw people offering lamps, and he saw people bowing down and doing the work. He got one-sixth of the benefit of all of their activities. So all of his sins are destroyed. So you can't have him anymore. So they said, well, he's come here. We'll take him around. We'll give him a tour of Yamalok. <laughs> and after he went around Yamalok, then he, was, he went to heaven, to, to Kavera. 
to be with Kuvera, to be an assistant of Kuvera. He didn't go back to God, but he went to have the plan. <coughs> so that's the benefit, you know, even people are sinful. If they just watch and they just see, they get, they get better. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes family members and relatives, you know, they're not favorable, they're against it. But if they just see you do these things, they get benefit. This second part, what you said, which feels pain, so it is made of uh, uh, mind, uh, intelligence, and ego. So it uh, like if we have soul, we cannot uh, feel pain. If soul uh, goes out of the body, we are just so this second body, like you know, it has what like it, uh, it has a mind, a form. Uh, means it has a soul, so that it feels pain, or if it without soul, the second body which feels pain in the kumbhi path now. So it is made of what this body? The subtle body. Yeah. Well. What's it made? It's subtle. <laughs> it's not made of what can we say? It's, if, if it's something is subtle, then it, it, it's just, it's not made of anything really. It, it's subtle. Is it formless? Well, a subtle body, we have a subtle body. Uh, yeah, a question is that. So, Maharaj, the question is that uh, does the soul also go with the subtle body? Yes, the soul goes with the subtle body. The soul has to be with the subtle body. You don't have a subtle body without the soul. The soul has to be there. Mm -hmm. But we are not a soul, cannot be killed, cannot be. That's born. right. Yes. So the soul goes with the subtle body, goes with the soul at the time of death. Yeah. The subtle body, you see, subtle body is accompanying the soul, it carries the desires to the next body. Right? But subtle body can gradually be dissolved, can be purified as we become more. Uh, qualified to get out of material life, we have to give up the subtle body. So the subtle elements will go back to the subtle elements, to the, to the universal elements of the material nature. And when to go back to Godhead, you don't have the subtle body, just the soul, right? So the subtle body is what's carrying us to the next body, the next life. Maharaj, uh, I wanted to ask you what is more important, doing good deeds or doing uh, bhakti? <laughs> <laughs> well, doing bhakti is more important than doing good deeds. Doing bhakti, what is what do we mean when we say doing bhakti? We mean shravanam, kirtan, smaranam. There are nine angas of bhakti, the nine and part nine limbs of bhakti. That's what bhakti actually is. And most important for us is the hearing and the chanting. Now you do good deeds. You do good deeds in the material what, what are good deeds in the material world? You have to tell, when, when you say do good deeds, what doing, kind of good uh, deeds? Doing, like if someone needs your help, you send the person, or you don't uh, do something bad for someone. Whatever way you can be useful to someone. Well, what, how can you be useful to someone? You have to understand, what does it mean to be useful to someone? You give someone some money, are you being useful to them? And they take your money and go and buy alcohol or cigarettes or cook meat. <laughs> no, or... Not that way, but if someone is in need, like, 
Well, what did, what did whatever they? Whatever means you can help, like medically or whatever. Yeah. Okay. You're going to help them materially. You give some blood for people. Maybe you, you give blood, you donate blood. So in the future, you'll get blood. When you need blood, then you'll get the blood back. Somebody will give you blood. You give blood, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you give money, if you give you do something to help the poor, maybe you build the old people's home. In the future, when you're old, you can go and stay in the old people's home. <laughs> you help the young girls to get married, to find a husband. And in the future, next life, you'll also get a husband. <laughs> so, Maharaj, we shouldn't help the old people, like the old age home? Like, if they need, like... Well, you we should know how to help them. How to help them. How he, can, he can give food by offering it to Lord Krishna. Yes. 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 Yeah, you offer the food, give that. That's devotional service. That's bhakti. You give them prasadam. That's bhakti. Yeah. Right? You want to help people, give them prasadam. Generally, you know, people <coughs> come, they want money, we'll, take, we'll give you prasadam. You know, take some prasadam. Well, some of the pujaris in the temple, uh, when you give something, they ask for the dakshina, the donation on the top of it. So whether we should be giving it to them or not. Because they're working, they, they don't know. Otherwise, we are helping the Vaishnavas only. That they are offering food or giving uh, money only after offering it to the Lord. Well, how to offer it to them? Pujari should be doing service on behalf of the temple. So you give money to the pujari, it should go to the temple, not for the pujari. You give the money to the pujari, pujari should give receipt. It's from this is for the temple. You know, sometimes like. You, you, give, you want to do a special puja or something, some archana or something. So the temple may have a fix, you know, 100 rupees or something like, and you give to the, and then that goes, goes to the temple. But some for, of the pujaris, like they are sitting outside and uh, doing all these works. So they are not doing this. So then you, you give like that, you have to figure out which one is the pure Brahmana, which one is the pure soul. You have to consider what, you know, how is he living? Is he eating meat? Is he a Kali Yuga Brahmana? Or is he actually a Vaishnava? You, well, they are, they are Karma Kandi Brahmanas. Karma Kandi Brahmanas, then it's hopeless. <laughs> Not going to benefit you. It's Karma Kanda, right? You give them some money. What, what benefit will you get? Material benefit? Some little, maybe. Not recommended. That is a standard Brahmin, Brahminical culture has become karma kandi culture. It's simply business. So you have to, we have to understand, we have to judge for ourselves who is actually the, the worthy person. Because we don't know what they are doing going after. The right, yeah, you don't know. Right? <coughs> That's the risk you take. You know, they have that, Prabhupada said that how there's this one man in Bengal, there was a picture. The money was on the table and he was like this. People say that we wouldn't touch money, and people say, Oh, he's a great Brahmin. But actually, <laughs> below the table, he had a lot of money. Yeah. And Prabhupada said, You can give me the money. He said, I'll count it better than the bank teller, and I'll spend it all for Krishna. So, <laughs> and they were asking before. Uh, there were gurus with so many big cars. And they were asking Prabhupada, 
are they all cheaters? And Prabhupada said, the one on the bicycle may be a cheater. He said, just because they're in a big car, it doesn't mean they're cheater. You have to look, you have to hear what they say. What are they doing? You can't just judge by who has the big car. The one on the bike may be the cheater. You don't know. <laughs> so you don't, you cannot judge material. <laughs> Okay, Hare Krishna. So maybe we will be done with our puja now. Thank you. 